oh my gosh, I can't believe it's October. <laughs> it's unbelievable. So Jay came home. Today is, I think, October 4th. I've lost track of the dates. Jay came home on Friday. So we actually came home earlier. And we he's been home, you know, for, uh, what is today? I'm filming this, this piece on Tuesday, Wednesday. So um, I took him to the doctors yesterday. He's been doing super good walking around and, you know, in the house and um, on the driveway. He hasn't come out in the backyard yet, um, mainly because of the uneven ground and stuff. So it's been, it's been interesting, right? Because I'm not, um, yeah, I'm not a real good nursemaid, maybe. I don't know, you know. I, I have to give him his space, so let him do things on his own and not try to do stuff for him. And I have to encourage him to do certain things and not be nagging him. So, um, but he, he is doing, he's doing really awesome. And I have really been re evaluating everything around the house, you know, trying to make it safe, trying to, you know, to even think about more decluttering. We've done a lot of decluttering this past year, but oh my gosh, it's like so many different things to think about, especially when you have somebody that has mobility issues, right? Trying to make it so that he can, I don't know if the traffic is going to block my voice, so that you know, he can maneuver with the walker and the cane and all that stuff. But it, it, we're making progress, huge, huge progress. Yesterday at the, he went to his primary because they wanted to follow up after his release from the hospital and from rehab. Um, his primary checked him out, changed the bandage on his incision. Because what he did is he had a total hip replacement. And then the bone he broke was in his butt, in his rear end part of his hip, the back part. So it, it hurts him to sit at certain times or to lie, you know, he has to move around a lot. But even that looks, everything looks really good, like it's really healing. It's just gonna take time. It's gonna take more time than he probably, you know, anticipated. But over the weekend, um, on Saturday, he wanted to go for a ride, we went up to Auburn. And I'm going to superimpose some photos here so you can see he sat there and he wanted to fly his drone and um, I walked all around and went down by the water. The leaves have not yet quite turned up there, but it is such a beautiful, beautiful spot. And when the leaves turn, it's magnificent over Lake Massabesic. So I walked all around and he sat there and he flew the drone and, oh my gosh, the poor guy, I felt so bad for him. He had a little issue. I'll superimpose my little clip here. There he goes. We just had a whoops. Oops. Oops a daisy. Yeah, so he thinks he can repair it. And we ordered some parts off of Amazon, so hopefully hopefully he'll be able to repair it and that'll work out really good. I hope, I hope, I hope. Um, the part, one part is coming today, another, another one came yesterday, so hopefully he'll repair it. But it just felt so good for him to get out and do something that he enjoyed. I mean, obviously his passion is golf and he can't golf, right? I mean, that stands to reason. So, um, but he loves flying his drone. And even though half the time he flies his drone, he doesn't edit the footage. He's not into editing the footage, doing videos, doing all that stuff. He just likes to fly his drone. <laughs> so crazy. But anyway, so we had a really good day. Sunday, my son came. He fixed a couple of things for me. And then after they left, um, we decided we were going to go up to... Newcastle, New Hampshire, Great Island Common. And we often go there and I would say to visit my father because from that spot we can see where my father, where we had put his ashes into the ocean. So I just love being in that spot. I feel connected to my dad. My dad loved that spot too. So we went to Great Island Common and took a bunch of pictures and 
Jay took pictures of me sitting on the rock. <laughs> One really funny one that he put on his Facebook with me doing a selfie, uh, selfie picture. But we, we just had a really nice, nice afternoon. It was probably too long of an afternoon for him because he did walk around with his cane. And then he, you know, had a long, he had to sit car ride to come back. But it was, it was a good afternoon. And I think it did him good to get out again, you know, to go somewhere and do something that he really, really liked. So. So, how was your little ride about? It was fun. I enjoyed sitting out by the water. I love the ocean, you know, so just watching all the boats go by. There's been more boats out there this weekend than I've ever seen. I know. It's like amazing. All these years we've been coming up here. The amount of boat traffic, and it's October 1st. It's beautiful out. Yeah. And I think everybody's trying to get their last hurrah in. Exactly. Before you know what happens. Yeah, boo. Oh, winter comes. Ooh, winter. I ended up buying compression bags. I talked about it, I think, in one of my previous videos. And I want to see, I'm going to superimpose a clip here of me actually opening them up. I have them on my bed. The clip isn't all that great. So I bought these packing cubes. And I bought a set for Jay which I haven't opened yet, and a set for me, purple, of course. And I have opened these, but I haven't packed anything in into it yet. But I thought, I mean, it's got a, a large one in here. Let me share with you a little bit of a larger one, and then a smaller one, and sort of another smaller one. Um, and this one I thought was medium size, but once I opened it up, I was like, shocked at how big it actually was so i um i'm gonna probably see if i can get all my bathing suits in this and maybe my underwear in this <laughs> i don't know if this is gonna work or not yeah so i have the two packages the black ones are for jay which i think will be fine for him and my plan is I'm thinking I'm going to pack into those cubes clothes that I'm not going to wear right away. Like, you know, normally I put my summer clothes away in the house or my bathing suits because I'm not going to use them until, you know, summer. But this year, that's going to be completely different. So I want to see if I can put them in the compression cubes and pack them in the motorhome and... Um, and have it because we're going to be in the motorhome for quite a while. So have it so that there's not going to be, it's not going to take up a whole lot of space. And also I'm hoping to go on a cruise. So having those compression cubes with me, if they work out, will help because I just want to bring one suitcase. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm not making much sense, but I'll show you how many bathing suits and, you know, swim bottoms I have and to see if I can actually get them into the one, into the one cube. So I got that and it's, it's been today actually in between work and meetings. After this afternoon, I've got my hairdresser's appointment and my hair, I'm very, very behind on my hair and it's really outgrown and, and because it's so thin, it just looks horrible um, when it's like this. So I've got my hairdresser's appointment and that'll probably take two hours and um, I told Jay, you have to be, you have to just sit tight till I get home type of thing. So, yeah, I'll be curious to see. I don't know. I don't know. A part of me sometimes thinks I just sh shave it all off. You know, the medication that I'm on, and even though I'm, I'm wearing the hat, um, which I should show you guys, right, because I've been doing that. I'll, I'll superimpose some pictures. This was sent to me complimentary from Current Body. I, I have been used, I, I'm a total, total advocate of, red light therapy. Um, I, I love it. I use it on my face. Anyways, Current Body was kind enough to send me a complimentary hat for the hair, you know, that for, to stimulate hair growth. These devices are quite expensive and I don't know if this is going to work. There's no strings. I, they, they didn't say I had to. I did ask them for a link and um, I don't know if they get a coupon code or not. Anyways, they, they're not sponsoring me they're not paying for me to do this they didn't say how to do any of this obviously you know when you get a free product especially a pricey product like that they do want you to talk about their product that's why they're willing to 
you know, to send it. And um, so, you know, I've been using that, but I still feel right now, and it's, it is way too soon. And the medicine for the breast cancer preventive, the medicine that I'm on, that is one of the side effects is your hair will thin out. So my doctor said to, I talked I talk to him about the, um, the pill that I'm taking, which is for men for the prostate, which is the um, oral version of Rogaine. So I'm taking, he, so he prescribed it, taking that. And um, I talked to him about the hat. He said, keep doing it, keep doing it because you know, we'll see how much of your volume you lose in your hair, but it, it it's hopefully gonna counter some of it. May not counter all of it, but some of it. So yeah, I'm probably not making much sense. I came out for a little walk. Jay is actually teaching today. So the cool thing about him, last night he, he had a class and I had said to him, you know, cause he, I had to, for the two weeks that he was out, obviously he couldn't teach. So we had to make, a, you know, arrangements and we have, I have another instructor and she took his two weeks. So he's going to take the next two weeks to help her out. And, um, and so you just got to just jump in, you know, his, his brain isn't broke. His head isn't broke. His hands aren't broke. He can sit. Yes. His bum is broke his hip, but, um, you know, he can sit and he's got his multiple screens, his computer, you know, he should definitely be able to teach. So last night was the first time and I probably should have prepared him for the fact that because he hadn't done it in so long, that even though he's sitting, it's still super draining, right? Emotionally, mentally, because you've got to be on, you got to engage, you got to do a whole lot of stuff. I know that because I teach. So um, he was wiped out. And then he had another class at nine o'clock this morning. I know he's going to be wiped out this afternoon, but he's doing it. And, um, and basically he has to do it, you know? So, um, he doesn't have any disability insurance or anything of that nature. So <laughs> you gotta, you gotta work when you can work. So hopefully, um, Hopefully he won't be too tired today. And he starts physical therapy next week in the interim. He can't drive obviously. So, um, my videos will be haphazard when I upload for sure. I'm going to try to pack some of my suits into that one packing cube, just so you can see, because I know there's many people that travel and there's people that travel and they like to just take a carry on right on a plane. And I could, I could never imagine that a friend of mine, Ramona just did Ireland and London and actually Paris as well on just carry on her and her husband. And I can't imagine. And she said, this is what she did. She did the packing cubes, packed carefully, you know, and all of that. And she got it all in there, including whatever, you know, cosmetics. That would, Jay says, I need a whole suitcase for that. But he's full of baloney. Um, so I'm going to see what I can do because I'm thinking of it more as storage for now, right? Because I normally try to store stuff in the motorhome for next season. And I want to conserve space in the motorhome. And I also, you know, hate to say it, but in the, in the winter time when we store the motorhome, there's always issues with those critters, those mice. I hate them. I freak out. So I always try to mice proof everything. You know, I take all my utensils out. I, and some of you have seen videos in the past when I've done that. So I kind of mice proof everything in the motorhome. And I want to be able to take my summer stuff put in those packing cubes. And even if I have to put in those packing cubes inside another container, I, it'll be awesome because I don't have to worry about it. You know, they can be out there because normally I wouldn't leave them out there, right? They can be out there. So when Jay and I, um, um, do our little voyage, <laughs> they'll be there. <laughs> so anyways, um, I know lots of ums and oohs and, and not, much of anything but like I said I am going to go and get my hair cut I just don't know how much she's going to be able to do with it it's it's outgrown and it's flat and it's hard to manage and this is just my my own hair there's no topper it's just my own wispy wispy hair when I put a topper on it looks a little bit different so I'm going to do that this afternoon and a number of other things this, this today got meetings and all that but I'm going to try to do the bathing suits in the in the the bottoms, you know, the, cause I wear wraps. I wear those, um, Hawaiian rip skirts. 
I love those Hawaiian rip skirts. My legs are too fat, you know, I, and my bum is too fat. I don't want to, I'm not going to stand in a bathing suit exposed, but I have a bathing suit and I put a rip skirt over it. Sometimes I put a short sleeve t-shirt over it. I like to go in the water, you know, and I like to go into pools um, and the ocean and stuff like that. So I'm not going to do it in long pants, you know. Um, so yeah, so I've got like, I think I ordered three, did I get three or four new bathing suits? I may have showed you all of them, except for the one with the ruffles. I got one with ruffles. Oh my gosh. It is so cute. It really is so cute. But anyways, I will be back. Welcome to my blog. I have no idea uh, where this is going for the rest of the week, but I'm going to superimpose, like I said, the, um, the adventures we had this weekend with my, with my husband. So I'll be back in a little bit. Alrighty, I'm going to take this one, which is not the largest. This is the largest, then two small ones. And I have five of my rip skirts and a ton of bathing suits. I don't know how much of that I am going to get in here, but I'm going to try. Go. So I'm going to do, I'm going to use the big bag because I have a lot of bathing suit stuff that I want to bring. So I've got five Hawaiian rip skirts. I'm going to layer them in here. This is what they pretty well say to do is to just kind of layer your stuff in here. So I'm putting it in here. And they say to try to do it loose, right? So I've got that. Now I'm going to just layer. This is a, a bathing suit cover up. One of my favorites. And I have two like this. So I'm going to go like that. Put them in here. And now I'm going to go for the bathing suits. Got a black one. I probably have way too many bathing suits, my husband is thinking, who happens to be my cameraman. Got a purple one. Got a blue one. And this is the one I was talking about with the ruffles. Isn't that cute, Jay? Gorgeous. <laughs> he could care. Put that in there. You've seen this. These are all the ones I got from Cup She. So when you go on a cruise or you go into warm climates, you need to have the attire, right? And not that I'm going to parade around in my bathing suits without a cover-up. I do want to bring them. So i put this little cover-up in there and this cover-up in there. What do you think? Do you think I'm going to be able to close this? Hopefully. Hopefully. So they say, I probably could get something else in here. Maybe I'll do one of these tops, one of these bathing suit tops. They say that you zip it up, right? And it should be loose, supposedly. You're supposed to close it. But I'm gonna go ahead and leave a little bit of an ear pocket here because I have to zip this up. This is the part that's going to do the compression. So, you able to see this, honey? Yep. My camera man. And I have to zip it on this side, so I'm going to close this up a little bit here. This would be wild if this all it actually closes because I have like five bathing suits in here. One, two, three cover ups. Five Hawaiian rip starts. A bit more difficult than I anticipated it to be, but. Bring it on this way. To zip it closed. Now, of course, I have all this hanging out here, and I'm supposed to zip that closed somehow. And all the air is supposed to come pressing out. And conceivably, this is supposed to work. Conceivably, conceptually, I think it will work. It just might be a bit more difficult with just one person. <laughs> no. Wow. Five, Congratulations. Five, six bathing suits, five rip skirts, 
three bathing suit cover-ups and one black wrap. Wow. Super cool. So <laughs> that was a little bit more difficult than I than I thought it was going to be. But anyways, here is here's the reason. I ended up putting my bathing suits. And so I have six bathing suits, five rip skirts. I think I have three bathing suit cover-ups and two wraps in here. So, but I needed to use another one for the rest of my bathing suit stuff. So in this medium one, I have lounge pants, three pairs of like those kind of like lounge pants. Um, I have, I hate to even admit it, I have like three, four other cover-ups. I wear a lot of bathing suits, but I wear cover-ups all the time. So I'm always wearing a cover-up. I, you know, I may have my upper part of my bathing suit exposed and just wear a rip skirt. Um, I love going in the water. I, you know, I love the summer. You guys know that, right? And, and, um, you know, so very, very careful with sunblock and all that. But with our plans, I wanted to be able to pack up my summer gear that I'm not going to probably touch until January, maybe February. But I wanted to put them in a, you know, in a, a way so that I could have them in these packing cubes and I compress the air. And I'm going to put this in the motorhome closet with downy sheets. So those stupid critters, mice, you know, I hate them. They freak me out just in case a mice come. Because in the, you know, when, you, when you're, yeah, I mean, you're in a camper, an RV, right? There's always mice issues. So I'm going to put those in the closet. And then I know at least at this point in time that everything I need for pool or beach is in there. I also put in there like, um, they're like skirts, but they're not skirts. They got pants underneath them. I don't know what you call them. Not that I'm a golfer or anything, but you can ride a bike with them. But I also can do fitness walking with them if I want, because that's what I did when I went camping. I would go, I'd pull that on and it's like underneath the skirt part is like pants. So your legs don't rub together. I know too much information, but so you can walk around in those and those are like super, super cool, I think. So of those two bags is my summer stuff. I'm going to carry it out to the motorhome. I'm going to stick it in my closet. I'm going to put downy sheets in it. And then I still have three smaller compressions. One is going to just be my bras and undies. And um, the other one might be, you know, socks or something, something like that. So then the only thing I'd have to really worry about is clothes like I show you guys that dress I bought? I think I did. I bought it in Old Navy. So stuff like that. I have like this dress, two dresses actually, that I'll pack. And then my jeans and then just some short sleeve tops. So yeah, I'm feeling pretty well all together when it comes to that. Um, my hairdresser, I bought this K18. Um, it's something to do with bonding and super super good for helping strengthening your hair i mean i absolutely love you know when my hair when she does my hair it feels so soft it feels so good i went to the hairdressers this weekend and um because my hair is thinning the way it is because of the medication i'm trying everything i can to counter affect the medication effects because it's a balancing game right i mean Yes, I have wigs and I have toppers and I have, you know, I have alternate hair that I can wear. And that's, I'm more fortunate in many ways because I have a ton of alternate hair. Um, but I, I want to try to preserve my bio hair as much as I can. So, let's see, and I broke a piece off already just from touching it. Crazy. Um, so this K18 stuff, it's very, very pricey, this whole treatment. And she told me that after I wash my hair... I'm just going to put a little, you know, go out towel dry, put a little bit in my palm, like just a pea size and put my, rub my hands together, um, mollify it or whatever, and then put it in my wet hair. And then for four minutes after I massage it into my wet hair, I can't do anything to my head for four minutes. And after that, I can style as, um, as I really like. So I'm going to see how that works for me and my hair. 
I did, I, I buy this a lot. You can get this off Amazon. You can get this anywhere. But I really, really like the big, the sexy hair, um, big powder play. I've used this for many, many years. So when you have a hat on, a helmet, like if you're riding a bike, right, and you take your helmet off, your hair is all flat and it looks gross. Even if you have good hair, it looks gross. So I always had something like this in my bag, at work, um, anywhere, because then I would take this powder and I would just powder it into my hair and it would make my hair come alive and get puffy and big and I could style it and I could walk around for the rest of the afternoon and not feel feel freaky. So anyways, I couldn't, I bought this at TJ Maxx, at Marshalls, and I couldn't find any there in a while. So when I was at the hairdressers this week, I picked this up because I have very little left of the one I've been using. And I really like this a lot. So yeah, so Jay's been home. Um, we, it's, it's Saturday when I'm filming the wrapping up of this and it's, um, it's been a good week for him. You know, he starts his official therapy on Monday night. So, but all week for the last two to three days, he's been walking with just a cane instead of the walker. Before that, he was just using the cane if I took him out like for the rides over the weekend, but, um, and then using the walker the rest of the time. So he's, he's been doing super good with, with the cane. And I'm really excited about Monday night because when he starts his therapy, I'm going to drop him off at the therapy place and then the gym I go to, my Planet Fitness um, that I go to is down the street. So I'm going to go to the gym. I have not been to the gym since his surgery because, just because, I've been, when he was in the hospital, you know, for all that time, I was just running back and forth to the hospital, trying to function, doing work, teach, all that stuff. And now he's been home and I've been just busy, busy, busy. So I'm hoping once he, he gets on to a physical therapy system on Monday, I go back to the gym because I was doing really good with my fitness. You know, um, you know, losing some weight, not a whole lot, nothing to shake a stick at, but losing some weight, um, getting stronger. And that's my goal was trying to get stronger. And when winter comes, for me anyways, that's when it gets dark at 4.30 and it's pitch black by 5.00. You can't see anything. All you want to do is curl on the couch and go to sleep. So normally winter is really rough, seasonal here. It gets cold and drab and da 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 da. So this winter will be different though. But anyway, so wanted to show you the results of those bags. Like I said, I bought two packs. One is in black and that's for Jay's clothes. And the other one is the purple is going to be mine. And I, I think getting my summer stuff, because I'm not going to need it. I'm not going to do my undies until shortly, maybe, you know, before December or something. But my summer stuff, my bathing suits and all the stuff, I'm not going to need that. So I can safely put that out in the RV. And I think I might just do that in a little bit. So anyways, um, yeah, that's my update. That's my vlog. Thank you guys for being so super supportive, even though I've been missing an action, it seems like. I... Um, I, I do appreciate, I do see your comments. Sometimes I'm on my phone and I can't answer right away. Then it takes me a while to get back on my laptop. Sometimes I'm teaching a class and then by the time I get done the class, I'm like brain dead and I don't get on. But I, um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I've had two kind of very interesting real estate transactions. And I'm going to tell you, if anyone ever wants to hear more about real estate, I, I'll tell you right now, the market is totally astronomically insane. I've been doing this the 38 years and I've never experienced a real estate market like this. It's it's totally wacky, wacky, wacky. And it doesn't help sometimes when you have an agent on one end of a transaction that's difficult. And I went through a very difficult and the transaction fell apart, but I went through a very, very difficult partial transaction with a very difficult agent. And it makes me appreciate ethical agents and agents that do what they're supposed to do so much all the more. And it makes me appreciate when I teach agents, new agents especially, right? They just got licensed and they're trying to learn the business and I teach them and stress the ethics because that is so super important. And yeah, you might not be able to see it. You might not be able to recognize an ethical agent, 
But man, you get caught up in a trap with somebody that is only out for the buck for themselves. Holy camoly. It can be a nightmare. Yeah, it is a nightmare. So anyways, um, I want to get this uploaded onto my laptop. I don't know how long this whole video is. I'm sure it's going to be wicked long. But um, I'm hoping you guys all watch it. And thank you all so much for all your support. Jay says hello to everyone. And he wants to thank you all for your well wishes. So. Bye, guys. Oh, and if you're new here, subscribe, please. I have a little over 20,000, but man, I'm not growing at all. But I'm super thrilled with every, every single subscription, every single likes, every single comment. And yeah, just super, super, you know, thrilled that all of you have hung in with me all this long time that I've been on YouTube, even when I have nothing to say, like now. <laughs> Bye, guys.